हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल नोइंग मोर आई एम प्रियंका एंड आई थिंक यू आर ऑल रेडी फॉर दिस जर्नी ऑफ नोइंग मोर सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम ए स्मॉल टाइम ट्रेडर टू वन ऑफ द रिचेस्ट मैन इन द वर्ल्ड दिस इज द जर्नी ऑफ धीरूभा अंबानी द मैन विद द माई दस टच धीरज लाल हीराचंद अंबानी पॉपुलरली नोन एज धीरूभा अंबानी वॉज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सक्सेसफुल बिजनेस टाइकूंस ऑफ इंडिया He is the founder of Reliance Industries which in the financial year 2020 was worth 3.8 trillion dollars. The exponential growth of Reliance Industries is rightfully credited to Dhirubhai Ambani who was an audacious risk taker with an exceptional business acumen, a financial genius and of course an extremely ambitious person. I believe these are all the qualities of a winner and what a winner was he. He has become a role model to many Indians as his life journey is an inspiration to every Indian. He was one among us but achieved so much that he became one among a few. His list of achievements are unparalleled and till today are astonishing and mind blowing. Dhirubhai Ambani was one of the five children born to Hirachand Gordanbhai Ambani, a village school teacher, and Jamna Bai Ambani in Chorwad, Junagadh district of Gujarat, on 28 December 1932. Growing up in a family of modest means did not stop him from achieving his goals. At the age of 17, he started his career as a clerk at A. Bessi and Co., which was one of the largest transcontinental trading firm of that time, east of Suez. His stay there helped him to sharpen his trading, accounting, and other business skills. Ambani returned to India in 1958 and settled in Bombay, which we now call Mumbai. Ambani began his business journey by trading in spices, but soon he expanded into other commodities. He followed the strategy of offering high-quality products and accepting smaller profits than his competitors. His business grew quickly. After much success Ambani tried his attention to synthetic textiles. He made his first foray into textile industry with the opening of first Reliance textile mill in 1966. He launched the famous brand Vimal during this time which sold polished materials for sarees, shawls, suits and dresses. Extensive marketing of the brand in the interiors of India made it a household name. Franchise retail outlets were started and they sold the only Vimal brand of textiles. He gradually shaped Reliance into a petrochemical giant and later added plastics and power generation to the company's business. In 1977, Ambani took Reliance public after nationalized banks refused to finance him. His agility in navigating an uncertain economy and crippling government regulations and bureaucracy led to allegations of political manipulation corruption and engineered raids on competitors but investor confidence in reliance remained unshaken this is owing in part to the handsome dividends the company offered as well as the founder's charisma and vision ambani was credited with introducing the stock market to the average investor in india and thousands attended the reliance annual general meetings which was sometimes held in sports stadium with many more watching on television his life's journey was cut short on july 6 2002 when he breathed his last in bridge candy hospital in mumbai dhirubhai ambani epitomized the dauntless entrepreneurial spirit of a visionary always on the march to change the destiny of a nation acclaimed as the top businessman of the 20th century and lauded for his dynamic pioneering and innovative genius dhirubhai ambani was an inspiring leader with sterling qualities his success story fired the imagination of a generation of indian entrepreneurs business leaders and progressive companies for many he still remains an icon a role model to be emulated His unique vision redefined the potential of the Indian corporate sector and he challenged conventional wisdom in several areas. He was probably the first Indian businessman to recognize the strategic significance of investors and discover the vast untapped potential of the capital markets 
and channelize it for the growth and development of the industry. The corporate philosophy he followed was short and simple. Think big, think differently, think fast, think ahead, aim for the best. It was under his visionary leadership that Reliance Group emerged as the largest business conglomerate in India and carved out a distinct place for itself in the global space of corporate giants. During the course of his entrepreneurial mission, Dhirubhai set a number of revolutionary precedents. His contributions to the social and economic development of the nation were many and recognized by numerous national and international organizations. He was honored with the Padma Vibhushan, India's second highest civilian honor in 2016 for his exceptional and distinguished service to trade and industry. He visualized the growth of Reliance as an integral part of his grand vision for India. He was convinced that India could become an economic superpower within a short period of time and wanted Reliance to play an important role in realizing this goal. Today, the group's turnover represents nearly 3% of India's GDP. When he breathed his last, he had made Reliance a giant petrochemicals, communications, power and textiles conglomerate that was the biggest exporter in India and the first privately owned Indian company in the Fortune 500. Before we end, would you not want to hear where does Reliance stand at present and what is its contribution to the Indian economy? So let us hear it. Reliance, at present, is one of the most profitable companies in India. It is the largest publicly traded company in India in terms of market capitalization. It's the largest company in India in terms of revenue after recently surpassing the government-controlled Indian Oil Corporation. It's also the eighth largest employer in India with nearly 1,95,000 employees. On 10th September 2020, Reliance Industries became the first Indian company to cross $200 billion in market capitalization. The company is ranked 96th on the Fortune Global 500 list of the world's biggest corporations as of 2020. It is ranked 8th among the top 250 global energy companies. Reliance continues to be India's largest exporter, accounting for 8% of the India's total merchandise exports with a value of $1,47,755 crore and access to markets in 108 countries. Reliance is responsible for almost 5% of the government of India's total revenues from customs and excise duty. It's also the highest income tax payer in the private sector in India. What makes all this astonishing is that it was achieved in a span of 50 to 60 years, the foundation of which was laid down by the one and only Dhirubhai Ambani. Hope you all enjoyed this journey and if you did, please like, share and subscribe and do not forget to leave your valuable comments below.